Can a Boeing 747 take off with just one engine? Let's find out. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and we have loaded in with the Boeing 747. Right now all four engines are switched on but we're going to hop into the cockpit and we're going to switch those engines off. Well, we're going to switch three of them off. So we're going to go for our far left, inner left and far right engine switch those off and we're going to leave on our inner right engine. So if we look here on our center panel, those engines are all powering down and our inner right engine is remaining on. Let's go check that out from the outside. So these engines here are going to power down on our left wing and over on our right wing. This is the engine that is going to remain on. And this one here is going to be switched off. There we go. That is it fully powered down. We better get to this challenge quick. We've got a plane here waiting to take off. Sorry, buddy. I'll just be two seconds. I'm just trying to debunk a myth. Okay, for this challenge, I'm going to leave the flap settings right where they are. Here we go. Let's get that throttle turned up, you guys. And in three, two, one, release the brake. Here we go. Wow, this is like snail pace. <laughs> Look how slow we're going. Oh no. This isn't a good start. Right, where are we at? We're at 30 knots. It doesn't feel like 30 knots. <laughs> Feels like 2 knots. Come on. Pick up that speed. Pick up that speed. Pick up that speed. Okay, we're pushing slowly up to 40 knots. I should have chose a longer runway. Oh no. Okay, pushing up to 50 knots. We're gaining some speed now. This is looking a little bit better. Pushing up to 60 knots now. We're coming up to halfway down the runway. Working our way up to 70 knots. I need at least 120 knots, I believe, to get this plane airborne. Come on. Come on. Nearly at 80 knots. We are running out of runway though. Working our way up to 90. Come on, baby. Come on, queen of the skies. You can do it. That's us at 90 knots, you guys. Can we get it over 100? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're at 100 knots. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, this is a disaster waiting to happen. There's a plane right at the end of the runway as well. And there's a plane right at the end of the runway as well. Almost at 110. I'm going to try to go for the rotation. Uh, I can't even get the nose up. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, baby. No. <laughs> I'm not getting any faster than 130 knots. Oh, this is a disaster. It's not going to happen, you guys. Oh, we got slightly airborne there. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. It's not happening. Let's stop this before it turns into a proper disaster. Oh, my God. Well, that has been well and truly debunked. Can the Boeing 747 take off with one engine? The answer is no. What an absolute failure. You see, ladies and gentlemen, right above us, that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, I did this with a realistic amount of fuel. Uh, we didn't have any passengers on board, so we didn't account for that weight. But fuel quantity-wise, I kept it as realistic as I possibly could. I didn't want to turn the fuel quantity down because it's not very realistic. So this was a realistic take on this challenge and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do not try this because you will end up in a field. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to like this video. Also drop a comment, give me another challenge or myth to debunk. I love doing this kind of stuff for you guys. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video, you guys.